My name is Mark Nelson. Um, I live in Los Angeles now. I grew up a lot around the Midwest and uh, in Canada a bit. Um, the title of my film is The, uh, the Jockstrap Raiders, which is an animated comedy film. Uh, and it's basically um, takes place during World War I. And it's about a group of misfits who live in England. Uh, and they uh, couldn't go to the actual war, war um, uh, in France because of they, they, they're kind of mutants. They have different deficiencies and things like that. So they're kind of like the, odd, the oddballs. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're the ones who have to save the world um, when, the, when the war turns and the Germans take the advantage and start trying to invade uh, Britain itself. The idea actually came from, I, I remember seeing just a picture in a book. It was, it was a uh, World War II biplane. And the first, my first thought was like, that'd be really fun to animate. Just, you know, because in, in 3D animation, which a film is, um, you know, you, you can animate the camera as well as the planes. And I just thought it'd be really cool to do that. Then shortly after that, I came up with the title, The Jockstrap Raiders, just because I thought it was so ridiculous and silly. And I started building the story off of that. Um, but, but I've always loved, uh, uh, growing up, I've always been inspired by uh, war movies. I've always loved war movies. You know, war isn't funny, but I feel like if you have funny enough characters in these extraordinary situations, then uh, you can kind of bring a comedic element to it. Hail that weapon! Ooh, fancy that! The title of the Jackstrap Raiders um, uh, came about for, because they're misfits, and then they have to make their own planes. And on top of all that, they're, they're too heavy to do this mission that they do at the end of the film, so they have to take off all their clothes down to their jock straps, because uh, they're a rugby team also, so they wear jock straps because they're athletes. Uh, and so they have to strip down to their jock straps. So like they have everything against them. They're you know, definitely the underdogs. The theme would be to, to never give up. And, and even though if someone looks down on you and says you can't do this thing, keep trying and eventually, you know, it might all work out for you. I think at the end of the day there's like thirty two characters in the film. It's just it's insane that I had to design all these characters. Because um, there, there's, there's a lot of Germans I had to make. There's a Kaiser, the Red Baron. There's eight main characters. At the start, they're playing a rugby team with another six characters. So it was just a big task. I guess just keep, keep trying. It's just an honor being nominated for, for Spotlight or getting the Spotlight again. This is my third Spotlight, which is exciting. Uh, but every time, it's, it's exciting, um, especially after five years of production. You know, it's nice to get like a pat on the back, you know, after all this work. Because I would hate to work five years on something and then just everyone hates it. At the end of the day, when, when audiences watch this film, I just want them to have a good laugh. I want them to have, you know, take a break from their life for 18 minutes and, and enjoy themselves and root for these characters. 